Cool. Hey, uh, we're Hands Like Houses. I'm Trent and this is Coops and uh, you're watching Richard Trent. Thinks. Hey everybody, this is Richard of RichardThinks.org. Today we are out at Vans Warp Tour, Columbia, Maryland. I have with me two members of Hands Like Houses. How are you guys doing today? Great, man. How are you doing? Great. All the way from Australia, ladies and gents. Now, for people who aren't familiar with you guys yet, can you introduce yourselves and tell us your role in the band? I'm Cooper and I play guitar. And I'm Trenton and I sing. Now you guys are about well. You guys in, two, in like a week or so, you guys are about to release your new album, Unimagined. How's how's like how is creating that album compared to previous releases? Very, very, very different, man. Our first album release was recorded over a year. Um, we went in for a couple of oh, for a month, and then we went home and went back for a month after a year of saving our pennies, and then we put together two EPs worth, made Ground Dweller, and so this new album completely different, uh, it's something we've just been working on for, for a long time and then just had all these scattered ideas, put them together, jammed it out and sort of the approach mentally yeah. and I think everything. Was we were under a lot of time pressure so I think we had to really kind of trust our abilities so a lot of it came out a lot more naturally just simply because we weren't trying to overthink what we were doing and I think that's kind of shown in the way that it's come together I think. So, yeah. certainly, you know, certainly not less technical but just smarter. Yeah, we're very, very excited for it. Yeah, we're yeah. so good at it. Yeah. Now, uh, is there was there a particular moment that you guys were like close to like cutting any of the songs off? Was there a song on there particular that almost didn't make the final cut? No. Nah. nah, I think we're not one of those bands that can write like a thousand songs and go, oh, here's a thousand songs, let's pick a few. We every song either while we're writing it, we go, oh, this is kind of crap, and we'll get rid of it, or it stays on because we like it. If it's not working, we don't finish it. I don't think. Yeah. We can't force sort of something into it. Yeah. So. It's like, I think there's been one song on the last album that didn't make it, but then we ended up releasing it to a few people anyway, so we've never had to sort of cut anything. Now, what inspired that album title, Unimagined? Yep. <laughs> well, f um, for me, um, it actually started, the whole album concept started off with like, un as a prefix. Uh -huh. Like, um, I had a, few, you know, a couple of lyrics that had words featuring un in it, and it got me thinking about it. And, um, Basically, when you add on to a word, you kind of have to flip the word on its head to kind of figure out what the meaning of the word is in the sentence. So um, for us, like to unimagine was a, like an extension of that. So it's about, you know, um, you know, better understanding your present by, um, I get, yeah, better understanding your present and being able to get out of, you know, patterns of just dreaming and doing nothing to actually, you know, constructively understand and go forward from that and like, a bit, bit more confidence in sort life. Sort of like, yeah, to deconstruct your imagination and then sort of reimagine in that process is to unimagine. It's the first step in that deconstructing dreams and pursuits and everything like that. It sounds it sounds very broad and overarching and obviously it affects every song in its own way. So it's a, it's a loose concept as everything is with us. But um, yeah, it kind of just wraps up our journey over the last 12 months and 18 months. So Very cool. Now, what is plans post-warped? Go home, home and spend some well-deserved time in time. bed sleeping and uh, <laughs> I think you guys deserve a little bit I, like, I know you guys have been touring for the better part of 2011 you guys pretty much I heard that you guys stayed from this uh, not 2011 2012 you guys stayed from pretty much from the what, huh yeah. well the rise records and the screaming like screaming like a minute tour and then you did the collide score I was, I was over here for eight and a half months so I didn't go home for a long time and then this year after warp two it'll be five and a half months so in the last sort of 24 months would be about 18 months that no more than 18 months that we haven't been home just constantly on the road not you know we don't get to travel through our home city to see our family it's nothing like that so getting home after this is going to be great can't wait <laughs> <laughs> now like you guys you pretty much spent the majority of your life in Australia how did it feel like you know coming pretty much like you know living here in America like how was the experience like uh, I don't think we have a typical America living experience because mostly it's out of a van. But yeah. um, we stayed in Huntington Beach for a couple of weeks. It's probably like the longest time in one spot. In one place, yeah. But uh, I don't know. It's very so different, man. If you, know, yeah. if you guys didn't speak English, then yeah. uh, our country would be completely different. I feel oh, like. So there's really not much difference. No, there's a lot of difference. Oh. Sorry, is what I'm it's saying. It's sad. like uh, I don't know. It's nothing compares back home for us. Um, America's got, yeah, crazy things that are great and not so great, but yeah. I don't know. It I think seems to be a lot more spread out. Like, you know, you've got, um, you know, for us, I think the average quality of what living is a little bit higher, just because just we've got a good economy and stuff like that. Whereas America seems to be like very, very contrasted in the places you go and 
um, the types of people you meet. So it's like different countries and different states here, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. We don't have anything like that. I mean, our population is small in California, yeah. but our land mass is like as big as your country. So yeah. it's yeah, it's completely different. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much again, has guys. Now, is there anything else like people to know about you guys or anything else you guys coming up? Um, like we mentioned before, new album July twenty third. You can pre-order now, which would be rad, and we hope you enjoy it. All right. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you guys again for your time. Hands like houses, Richard, 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 and we will see you later.